Family Transition Place's youth education team cannot wait to get back into the classroom. We miss our amazing students and teachers, but until then, we need to show some resiliency. Today's video is all about how we can build our resiliency and stay strong in the face of this different world. This is Spud. He's warm and comfortable in his long fur coat. Spud likes the way things are. He doesn't want things to change. But as Spud is about to learn, things don't always turn out the way we want them to. This is Spud now. He's not happy. He's cold and he's missing his long, warm fur coat. There are a lot of different ways people can handle change. We can be jealous of someone who hasn't had to go through what we have. We can become angry or irritable with those around us. Or we can learn to become resilient in the face of change. Resiliency is the ability to recover from difficult situations. It's finding a way to stand back up after we've been knocked down or adapt to change when it occurs. There are many examples of resiliency right now. Things people do in the face of change. With less people traveling, the environment has shown remarkable resiliency. Clear waters and sea life returning to the Venice canals. Cleaner air in formerly heavily polluted areas. And sea turtles and other forms of wildlife thriving and bouncing back from difficult times in the past. There are ways we can become more resilient. We can be positive about who we are and what we do each day. It can be being proud of trying something new or as simple as washing your hands so people are safe. Or even being proud of the fact that you helped around the house by walking the dog. Keep your social connections. Maintain those healthy relationships. Call, text, or message your friends pay them a social distance visit, but stay connected with people you care about and the people who care about you. And understand that change happens. It might feel sad or unsettling at times, but it isn't all bad. It might give you more time to listen to music or play a favorite video game. We can't control the changes around us, but we can control how we react to it. As Spud has learned, sometimes you just have to put on a sweater. If you do find yourself struggling with the changes that are happening now and or around you, please reach out for support. 